When you think about moving into a new country and when you think about entering a whole new curriculum, you're obviously going to be afraid and I was panicking. When I got my acceptance letter, let me tell you, I could not believe myself, but more importantly, I started double guessing. I started thinking, is this the right decision for me? A new country, again, a new life, right? But coming here and transitioning into this life was so much more simpler than I expected. I think it's completely to do with the way tech really helped all of us grow and connect and learn with each other and learn from each other that within the first two weeks, I felt right at home. As a student at Georgia Tech, all of us really want to do different things. We are here because we want to explore everything around us, right? So the idea of coming in here was to study computer science and get a good degree. But I think for all of us, every student at Georgia Tech within the College of Computing, because that's like my college, we've started exploring different things. We've started exploring our identities and what we're interested in, right? So my typical day back in India would look like I wake up early in the morning, I eat food, I go study, I finish my day and then I relax. But now it's become more of what can I do differently so that I end up learning something more than what I did in the morning. So now it's waking up in the morning, meeting people, talking to them, having food, still attending classes, but kind of interspersing it with different activities. And when I came here, I wasn't really expecting too much, right? I was expecting I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna study for four years, get my degree, get a good job and be done with it. But I've just been here for about two years now, and let me tell you, it has been life-changing. Everyone here has been so fundamental in teaching me that there's so much more to life than just being someone who you know, has one particular goal. And now I kind of really want to diversify and live myself out, right? Within the bounds of computing, of course. So I want to get successful in this field, but I also want to give myself time to really become the person I am. So if I was to give you a rundown of how my typical day would look like, I would generally wake up around maybe 7 a.m., 7 to 8 a.m., get ready, kind of do some little meditation because that's something that ties me closer to my culture. I would grab some breakfast, go to classes. I have pretty packed schedule. Classes run from 10 all the way to 3. So generally take classes during that time. Sometimes I run to Blue Donkey to get a quick bite and coffee. Blue Donkey coffee is so good. You definitely have to try that sometime. But once you're done with that, I'm free to then pursue whatever activities I want to. So I generally end up meeting with friends to practice color guard, which is one of the very, very cool sport events that I do. So it's really just twirling a flag or a rifle or a saber and performing for people. And again, it's all about connecting with people. And I think being on the stage and performing is a way for me to connect with thousands of people and show them a part of me and give them a part of me. So that practice is always fun because I know that at the end of the day, whatever I'm learning there, I'm gonna be utilizing that to perform. You would be surprised if I showed you what I was or who I was one year ago. It's crazy, the transformation. I would not be anywhere as confident or as happy as I am right now, right? When I came to Georgia Tech, it was really an accident being able to show my identity off. I just decided randomly that, hey, you know what? I'm going to look good today, I'm going to dress up in a certain way, in a way that's closely aligned to my identity. I started feeling like I'm able to connect with people better when I'm being myself, right? And today, which is about, again, one to two years from that time, I can tell you, it's really been different in the sense that I feel so much closer to myself, so much more in tune with my emotions and my being. On a professional sphere, and a personal sphere, I think we as humans, we are driven by the need to connect. We are driven by the need to socialize, right? And I think all of us intrinsically want to do that. When you're able to connect with a lot of people and when a lot of people want to hear you, but more importantly, when they want to talk to you and tell you stories and teach you through their experience, I think that gives you power because at the end of the day, you're never truly going to be able to experience everything in life by your own self. And I think that's the whole idea of me being at Georgia Tech was to achieve something different from what I am and I think I've done that.